Alright, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Cube. I am your host, Banana Man, and we are resuming right off from the point that we left off last time. I believe that we still have two sectors left, which I'm pretty happy to hear about because I'm pretty much ready to be done with this game because it is a lot of fun, I admit, but it does get very confusing after a while and I just kind of get tired of solving all these puzzles, but... I said I was going to do it all the way through, and I am going to keep through with that promise. So let's see if we can get our way through here. <laughs> Got to get back into the into the mindset that I'm a spaceman. Okay, here we go. So I want to be up there. And in order to do so, I got to be able to get out of this little square containment that I'm trapped in. Can I? Okay, I can touch that thing, but... Here's something. What is this green orb do? Because there has not been green gloves before. So what does that do, really? Nothing? Nothing that it would seem. But I bet you if we have the power of gravity, it'll fall, won't it? Yeah, because green stuff does that. Okay, so I think what I want to do is turn this over here. Oh, but that rotates the whole thing. I didn't want that. Okay, well, let's get that one then. Let's get our purple back. And take that and rotate the top layer. So that we can drop our yellow cube onto that thing. But I think we want it more over there, don't we? No, how do we want to do this? Because we want... Yeah, we want the green cube here. Okay, so if we turn this guy... Eh, to blue... Oh, but that's not going to reach, is it? Okay, so let's try this again. Let's let's shift this. No, 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 no. You go back. There we go. If we shift this over here, does it line up properly? No, it doesn't. So how are we supposed to get that? Okay, let's try this. Let's see what happens if we move this guy over here is it gonna line up with that one no but maybe we can just drop a green square onto here for ourselves will that work yeah and then we can just get up onto here from here we need to be able to get up to there so how about we do this let's see we want that to be blue and then maybe have this yellow There we go. Oh, that's a bit too far. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, stop. No. Um, maybe move that guy back over. So get rid of our, get rid of our green thing there. There we go. Move this back over to the other side. And over there. That's going to be too far to reach. I don't think I'll be able to get up on that. Hmm. Very confused. So maybe you're not supposed to be a springy. Maybe. Um. Oh, wait. We can rotate you also, can't we? Uh, sorry. Go back. I need. Here we go. Give me that purple. And then we can rotate this. But that's really not going to help us much, is it? Unless we can get up there using this. I still don't see how that would help us either, though. So, our objective is to get up into there. If I'm on the opposite end of the other thing, will I be lined up with it? It doesn't look like that'll help either, no. But let's try this. Yeah, that's not going to help much, is it? Um, let's see, put that back. And let's just see if this works. It, it probably won't, but it's worth a shot. Oh, oh, that, that might actually work. Let's try that again. No, it's too tall. Hmm. Maybe if we make... Uh, I, I don't see how that would make a difference. Nope. It's too tall. 
So that is not the solution. Let's get some of this. And move you over here. And that's still not going to help us any, really. Let's take the yellow back. And get you over there. We can't stop ourselves from jumping too far. Oh, but what if we hit the red thing and then land on the blue thing? I mean, the yellow thing. I had not even thought of that, but that might actually work. Yeah, now look at us. Oh, and then we just... Uh, it's too tall, though. Ah, but what if I drop a yellow... No, no, no. I want to drop a green square on top of here. Because that'll work. Yeah. So let's do that. Let's get ourselves a green square. Yeah, look at me. No, 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 no. Um. Let's try that again. Uh, green square. I want you right here. And if you could not move this time. Don't. Oh. Green square, no! Why did you do it? Okay, so that's obviously not going to work out in our favor. Which stinks because it seemed like such a good idea at the time. Oops. Ah, Dunk. There we go. I want to be up there. I so want to be up there. Oh, man, I'm stupid. Look at this. Okay. <laughs> there was a very simple solution to this, which for some reason did not process in my mind. Look at that. Okay. My goodness, we took 10 minutes on that. I am sorry for that. And these corridors keep getting more and more... It's like swirly. I hear something unnatural. Like breathing. Oh no. Ah. Oh. Okay. Well, we can do this. I don't know what all these blue stains on the glass are, but we need to do something that involves something. What's our goal here? What are we trying to do? Are we trying to break the glass? Because I know how to break the glass. Let's see. To break the glass, we're gonna have to rotate this. Like so. Yeah. And then... That's not gonna reach. Not quite. <laughs> but, I do have the idea. Okay, so this guy's gonna be blue. Shrink him down. And let's actually take the purple one and put him over here. And then make this guy the green one. Rotate him. Okay, let's actually deactivate the green. Replace the green. Oh, but he's going to miss the thing. Hmm. Because I want to push him onto the thing, but that's not going to work, is it? Pow. Nope. How can we line this up to hit the thing? If I rotate it like that, would it be lined up properly? No. What about rotating it again? Nope. I think these are all pretty evenly spaced. So how would we get something onto there? Darcher's the question. Let's try this.
Oh. Oh, yes. That's exactly what we wanted. Okay. Why did the glass not break? That's what I thought the entire purpose of this was, but... Apparently, that's not good enough. No, you get back over there. Do we have to break it on this spot? Because this spot isn't going to break anytime soon. Because there's no way to target it. Is there anything I'm missing? Doesn't look like it. Because other than this, I don't really see any way to get in there. There's no holes or anything. Shouldn't this have worked with the blue? Hmm. Well, I think I could bang on this all day, but it's not going to break. Why won't this break? I need to get down there. There's no way to rotate the floor. So what in the world am I supposed to do? I really have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. I'm locked in here so there's no way out. Oh, yoy, these tells me nothing. How in the world? Is there a squat button? I can't remember. I don't think squatting will help me, though. Mm. I want to rotate the bottom part so that I can crack this thing. Jumping up on down on this isn't going to do me any good. Okay, so we got our cube. We got our pusher thing. And we got our rotatosphere. Gonna... Wow, that just slid right through it and it didn't even do anything. That's not the intended result. All right, let's get that. We got a cube. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. What can we even do with scooping this around? You can just scoop it over there. And then you'd be able to get up. See, that wouldn't be a problem. But the problem is I can't get in here. How do I get in? That's what I want to know. I can slide this around all day and it won't make a difference. I've used pretty much everything that I can at this point. that I'm pretty sure this is what I'm supposed to do is just launch it up at the glass but that doesn't work for whatever reason like honestly what do I'm what am I doing here I don't even know there's literally nothing that I can see. I want to be down in there because if I can get down in there then I can solve this easily, but there's no way to get in there. These aren't gonna help me. I can't expect something to fall out of the sky, can I? Can I? Wait a second.
No. Man, I thought I might have been onto something there. There's, like, directly above this is nothing. Why? It's like I could just easily do that and get up. Why are you so picky as to have to have... Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe how stupid I am. Wait. Get that. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Why? Okay. Well, at least I finally got it figured out. Okay, so here we go. We are going to rotate this. And we're finally going to get somewhere. There we go. Get our yellow. There we go. My goodness, that took way longer than it should have. Ah. My gravy. <laughs> oh, what a dark and deep corridor. I hope no monsters come to get me. I'm running out of power. If you don't believe me now, this may be your last chance. She's lying. No. That's how people lie. With lots of little details they tell you about a date. A time, a name. It makes it seem real, but it's not real. We're probably in the same goddamn box. I'm gonna bang on the wall. Listen. I don't know if you can hear me banging, but you have to believe what I'm saying. I. Wait. The name they told you, Jonathan Burns. It's not a name, it's a threat. You're Jonathan, and they're going to burn you. Jesus Christ, they're going to make you walk right into the incinerator. Oh, God. I'm losing signal. Don't listen to her. They're going to make me walk into an incinerator? Why would they give me hints about what they're going to do? Are they like Gladys or something? Because Gladys would tell you about how she was going to kill you, and Wheatley would tell you about how he's going to kill you, but I don't know why people would do that, because it's really dumb. Oh, hey, look, fire. My name's Jonathan, and I'm going to burn. Except for fire doesn't hurt me. I'm ragging no, for no my life. It's a coffin, and they want you to launch yourself into the incinerator. You knew the second you woke up here. I know you knew it. Our fingers are crossed behind our back. Go! Don't listen to him. He's crazy. He's lying. I don't know. Get in a shuttle. This thing? They're trying to jam my signal. Don't listen to us. What do I do? Please, I, I don't want you to die. Yes, you do. Well, I'm there's... I'm moving out of range. Please, go! Do you think it's a coincidence there are no windows to prove you're in outer space? They already buried you. Don't kill yourself for them, too. <laughs> well, I don't really see any other options. And it's... Just camera keeps shaking and there's a big... Big blue pixelated thingy. But, you know, there's not really any other options here, and so I might as well just throw myself into this thing, whether it kills me or not. Here we go. Got all this... Face cam died. It's back. Did I win? I see Earth. 
That's Earth over there. I'm pretty sure that's what I see there. There's lots of little tiny cubes. Yep, it's Earth. This is Mission Control. <laughs> it's good to see you. We have someone special on the line for you. It's my wife. It's me. Oh my gosh, you're okay. I knew you would do it. I knew you would, but... Just come home now, okay? Please, just come home. My wife sounds pretty strange. I never thought I'd say. The president wants to talk to you. Hey, look, there goes Wheatley. Bye, Wheatley. Well, thank you. Just oh, there he is again. Cut it, does it? You haven't just saved the lives of every person on this planet. You found a life we thought was lost forever. Oh, Jonathan Burns? Burns Shuttle 919. And Captain Burns, now we know you're out there. We will not rest until we bring you home. No matter what, I assure you. But didn't he ex found. Didn't he explode in the As cube? You, you may have had your doubts through all this, but you persevered. In life, we don't get proof until it's done. Hey, Wheatley. That's how humanity achieves great things. By having faith in the possibility of good. The end, I think. Oh, look, it's the sun, and there's the. So at least, still never explain what's up with this cube thing. Like, where did it come from? Why was it such a threat to Earth? Was it just like a big asteroid or something or other? And me solving puzzles just saved it. Oh, look, it's the moon. So I wasn't quite in the moon like I thought I was, but I was pretty close. And now I'm just kind of drifting into space. On an escape pod that I have no idea how to drive. How am I supposed to get back to Earth? Oh, designed by these people, these wonderful, brilliant people who made this wonderful, brilliant game that toyed with my mind like nothing else and I've ever seen before. My goodness, it made my brain almost explode. Hey, and look, 919. That's the Robert Burns guy, or Jonathan Burns, but his name was Robert something. Original score by Marshall. Well, good for you, Marshall. You did a good job on the soundtrack. It sounded quite nice. Level design by those two guys, concept art, 3D assets, animation. Well, it's not like you had a lot of stuff to make. They were all just cubes. No, I'm just kidding. There was, there was some more fancy looking stuff in there. So, I had the Wheatleys and the wires and all that. So that was pretty impressive. So yeah, looks like we finally beat the game. I'd say that was a pretty, pretty decent game. It was definitely worth the price. It was definitely very difficult. I would have liked to have been able to just kind of go at my own pace but at the same time I wanted to get through everything quickly so that I wouldn't bore you guys but man some of those puzzles were had either extremely simple solutions that I just was too dumb to figure out or some of them was were actually legitimately hard or maybe I'm just really that dumb but I'm glad we finally made it through without cheating and that was great. Special thanks to Anthony McGraw, Patrick Anderson, Graham Northgate, Diam Tusker, Carl Hilton, Dr. David Doak, Steve Ellis, Hackenbacker, Nigel Hay, blah, 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 blah. Lots of names to people. Guy Tabra. He's a guy named Tabra. Other fellow indies, Pat Peter Marsh, Sam Justice. Scott Wilson and Valve. Hey, my camera's battery is going to die too, so this is like perfect timing that this is all going to wrap up here. If it could just wrap up a little bit sooner, I understand you want to thank a lot of people, but you know, we're getting tired over here. Uh, Richard Hertford. I'm not seeing Jonathan Burns here though. I would think they would have a special thanks to Jonathan Burns who like died in the memory of like that guy, but um, it is not Jonathan Burns. 
So I guess Jonathan Burns is still alive somewhere in an exploding cube and they're determined to find him even though he's probably gonna die or whatever. Toxic Games of 2014. Be sure to check them out. They make they make games like this. I don't know. I don't know if they've made any other games, but they made this game. So that makes them pretty cool. Yep. Okay, we get the point. You you've shown us your logo screen. We can move back to the title screen now. That would be much appreciated. Very much appreciated. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. There we go. We made it back to the menu screen. We beat the game. Fantastic. Thumbs up for that. Thumb wrestle. Yeah. Woo. But there we go. I already said everything I wanted to say. So finally, done with the Cube series. It's about time. It was a good game, but I'm kind of glad to have it done over with. Now we can move on to bigger and better things, do more blind playthroughs of other games, hopefully ones that aren't as brain rack, black brain racking as this. Is that the correct term? I hope so. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed the series. If you did, please do be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Leave a comment if you so desire, and we will catch you in the next episode. Okay, bye!